Hi there, it's Emily with a quick card video from We'll Always Have Paris Studios. This sympathy card is for the sister of a YouTube tutorial person that I watch. Uh, she's actually one of my very favorite people to watch. She's how I learned about how to use my Cricut. And her sister recently suffered a devastating loss. And Robin uh, has posted on her blog an address where we can send sympathy cards to. Um, so I did this really quickly because I, I felt the need to get it done quickly and get it sent out. So I just went as fast as I could. Um, I cut this cut here from the Cindy Lou cartridge. This cut was on page 50 and it's called Flowers or excuse me, flower two. I cut it at three and three quarters inch. I, I got some uh, distress ink there on that by accident, but that's okay. Um, I cut it in kind of a burnt orange brownish color, this layer here, and then this layer in a golden yellow, and this layer in like a cream tan color. When I cut it out on my Cricut, I went ahead and saved these little petals that were the insides of these pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. Because I kind of, um, I felt, you know, with the sympathy card and the petals falling, it was somewhat appropriate. So, I added those. This is all adhered with Zig 2 Wig Glue Pen, as per usual. There are some stickles on it. This is Goldenrod. This pattern paper here is from Cosmo Cricut Mini Deck, um, circa 1934, and this is just black satin ribbon, um, like three-eighths of an inch, I believe. It's fraying, actually, I need to fix that. This stamp here is from Stampendous, and it's a really nice sympathy set. Um, I actually bought it for the Orchid. I bought it when I first started getting into Copics, which I'm still completely a beginner at Copics, but this was specifically what I bought it for and I didn't even really realize at the time, I love orchids, so I didn't even really realize at the time what beautiful sentiments it does have. So again, this is by Stampendous. I apologize, I do not know the name of it. Um, I haven't had it all that long, so I'm sure it's still available. Stampendous, and they're nice, um, good, clear photopolymer stamps, the best you can get. These edges are inked with Tim Holtz tea dye distress ink, and I forgot to say that this sentiment was stamped in vintage photo ink. Um, this is all adhered with my ATG, and then the corners are chomped with my corner chomper ticket edge punch. So that's really all I have to say about this card. I just wanted to quickly show it, and um, in case Robin would see this, I want to express my heartfelt condolences. Um, if you don't know about Robin, you can visit her website at mypinkstamper.com. She's a great, great teacher when it comes to the cricket, and she's just a great gal. So thanks for watching.